I just don't know why. I don't know why, but he loves me. And that alone, it's enough for me. He loves me. I cannot say why. He loves me. I cannot say why. Okay, so today we're going to talk about breakthrough. Really, that's what I'm going to talk about today. And uh, it's been on my mind to do a video for a while, for some days now. But, you know, life gets busy and... Yeah, but I'm happy I'm here today to talk about this because I feel God wants us to, to, to know it's time. It's time. You may have labored for so long. You may be try you may have tried so many things for some time now, and it looks like nothing is working, nothing is coming forth, nothing is happening. And you are at that point that you want to give up on God. You are at that point where you think all hope is lost in that situation you are at that point where you feel there is nothing no good outcome can come out of this i'm here to remind you i'm here to tell you that god says it's time for breakthrough your breakthrough is here your miracle is here you know you cannot have a miracle you cannot have a testimony if you have not passed to the test you cannot have a miracle if nothing significant has happened to you if you have not gone through a test of time, if you have not faced the storm of life, if you have not faced situations that looks like they're going to break you and you have come out successful, you would not have that testimony. You must have something, you know, there must be something you desire that you haven't gotten and there must be something you really want for you to say, I have a miracle, you know. It's just like someone trusting God for the fruit of the womb and when they say, I have a miracle, something spectacular must have happened. Something they cannot explain must have happened and it can only be God. So I'm here to tell you, no matter what you are, you are faced or you are facing, no matter what has happened to you in the past weeks, months or years, God is saying it is time for breakthrough. It is time to have that testimony. It is time to testify that God is good. Look at the story of Joseph in the Bible. Joseph was, was sold to slavery by his brothers. Who would have thought that Joseph that was sold to slavery would come back to be the prime minister, will come back to be in a position of leadership. I'm sure even his brothers, when you read the scripture, you when I read the scripture, I was wondering, why would his brothers not recognize him? But you know, there's something that happens that, that even if the world has put a limit on where God plans to take you, don't put a limit on yourself. Don't ever put a limit on yourself. Joseph is one of my favorite characters of the Bible because he was, he was not stopped by his circumstance. He was not stopped by the things, the challenges that was confronting him. You know, it's just like David and Goliath. David saw Goliath facing him, but he was not discouraged. He still picked up the stones. And he, he used the sling and he hit Goliath's head. So no matter that situation that is confronting you, why not pick up the stones, which is the weapon that God has given you as a child of God, and fight that Goliath? Because God has said your time of breakthrough is now. You may have fought so many battles in life and you are wondering, is there any other thing that is going to happen to me? Am I even going to come out of this situation? Am I going to come out of this mess? But from your mess, God is going to give you a message. God is going to give you a testimony. God is going to give you something that will change your life for good. And you will also affect others for Christ. You, you know, from our pain, God, one thing I've learned about God, my few years of knowing about God, my few years also on this earth, yes, is that God will never waste your pain. God will never waste the pain, the situation you have gone through. God will never waste it. He would always use it for his glory. He would always use it for a purpose. He would always use it to achieve something great for himself through you. So for God to have picked you to be a chosen vessel, it's an honor. It's an honor. 
do not look at the circumstance and the situation that may confront you that you may be facing at this time because when you look at that challenge when you look at that problem you will be you will be confused you can be you know it can be overwhelming at times when you think about the situations around you but don't look at it like, like don't look at it like this situation is so big because the the more you think about it the more you look at it the bigger that the devil makes the situation becomes the bigger the devil makes that that circumstance look like to you but do not take your eyes do not take your gaze away from god Focus on God. Look up to God because he is our helper. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Be reminded, John 16 verse 33 is one of my scriptures, favorite scriptures in the Bible. You know, it says, I have told you this so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. God, yes, never promised us that we will not face troubles, trials, and situations of life. Because I will be lying to you to say that your life, as far as you give your life to Jesus Christ, your life is free of troubles. Your life, I will just be lying to you. But the assurance we have is we have peace. Even in the storm, we have peace because we have God in our boots. We have God on our journey. If you are looking at me and I'm smiling today, it's not because I haven't gone through any storm of life in my, in my journey. It's not because I, ha I, am, I am not faced with some things in life that I, I, I know that can be overwhelming. Because my brother, my sister, yes, I've faced my own share of life. You know, I've been in a situation whereby my child was sick and even the doctors will be peeping at, through the window to see if this child is still alive. But to God be the glory. Yes, the child is still alive. So no matter what you may be going through, no matter what you are faced, don't give up on God. God is saying it is time for a breakthrough. You have a responsibility to key into it, to key into that that God has promised. Like I say, you are chosen because God has chosen you for that purpose. So, put your eyes on God. No matter how weary you may feel like today, no matter how disturbed, how troubled, overwhelmed you may feel, do not lose your eyes. Do not lose your focus from God. Don't take your focus, not for one minute, so you don't sink. Set your eyes on Jesus. Set your eyes on Jesus. You will have peace. You will have that breakthrough because he has promised that it is time. You just need to key into it. You need to key. Don't give up on God. You need to key into that that he has promised us. It's a season of celebration. It's a season of testimonies. We will testify of the goodness of God. Don't be left out. Don't be left out. Don't be left out. You never know when the time is. And God says the time is now. The time is now. I just pray with my brothers and sisters out there today that Lord, no matter what they are going through at this time, speak your peace, speak your comfort, speak your love. Let them be, let them be wrapped up in your love, oh God. Let them be wrapped up in your love, oh God. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus, my brothers and my sisters. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Put all your, all, 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 just put everything about you, your life, everything about you, put it in his hands. And you will never be dis disappointed. You will never, ever be disappointed because God loves you. So it's just an, a, a time to encourage us and a time to share to us today that God says it is time it is time it is time thank you so much for joining me again today my name is elizabeth if you have not subscribed don't forget to subscribe thank you so much god bless you